Tesla have unveiled some pretty revolutionary new battery products. Their auto bit of software is their most revolutionary battery product. And it is incredibly valuable to Tesla as well, who make money from this software every day. However, Tesla just unveiled their Mega Block and Mega Pack 3. We're excited to announce Mega Block, the latest evolution in our industrial storage product lineup. This isn't just a new container or a white box with new specs. We focused on this product being a plug and play platform. Hardware, software, services delivered as one, all from Tesla, and moving further up the value stream than we historically have. Our Mega Block platform is designed for 20 megawatt hours of usable AC energy, a 25 year life, 10,000 cycles, and with an industry leading round trip efficiency of 91%. Which will make them billions of dollars? I'm serious. It's, um, it's pretty damn impressive. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Tesla unveiled two new energy storage products. One of them, the Mega Pack 3, is its latest generation of utility scale energy storage system. The Mega Block is essentially a bunch of Mega Packs integrated together. So, what is Mega Block? Let's take a closer look. Mega Block is a pre engineered medium voltage block that integrates our next generation Mega Pack 3s. We have eliminated the above ground cabling between the transformer and the Mega Packs using a new flexible bus bar assembly. So, we've essentially made this part of the project now plug and play. It integrates Mega Pack 3 with transformers and switch gear. Basically, it means that you've got a power station ready to go. Big problem for Tesla. Big problem, right? They have more than two years or well, they did earlier this year, more than two years of backlog. So the fastest growing part of Tesla's business is its energy division by far. I mean, it's actually growing and growing quickly, but more than two years of backlog. So that means if someone comes and says to Tesla, well, we need this new battery, Tesla says, well, sorry, can't do it. Fortunately for Tesla, um, they have a new factory in Houston that is producing mega packs. They also have the mega pack factory in china that's new as well and those factories are building these mega blocks and mega packs and they're a lot better than what tesla previously had plus tesla should be able to clear up a lot of the bottleneck because deployments will now be much much faster at an event in las vegas called the re plus renewable energy convention tesla unveiled its latest generation of large scale energy storage products as expected, the Mega Pack 3 is the latest gen of its biggest stationary energy storage battery system. And it's a massive improvement versus Mega Pack 2. The company is now using much bigger 2.8 liter battery cells, resulting in a higher energy capacity in the Mega Pack. Now they put it puts out five megawatt hours compared to the previous gen at 3.9 megawatt hours. So Mega Pack 2, same size battery pack, same size container, and it was 3.9. This is now five megawatt hours, big difference. Tesla also simplified the thermal bay, which reduced the number of connections by 78%, meaning much quicker for Tesla to manufacture and quicker to deploy. It's all around a much better product, but Probably a bigger deal is the Mega Block. The Mega Block combines four Mega Pack 3s directly connected to a Megavolt transformer and switch gear. And it's um, way cooler than it actually looks. Tesla says that this will result in 23% faster installation time on site with a lot more of the assembly, assembly being done in a factory setting, which is quicker rather than being done on site. Mike Snyder, Tesla's VP of Energy and Charging, says that Tesla can deploy one gigawatt hour in 20 business days with the new mega block configuration. To give you some context on how many homes a, a mega block could potentially power, one Tesla mega pack, which is five megawatt hours, which is 5,000 kilowatt hours, that can power 250 homes for one day if every home uses around 20 kilowatt hours a day which is the average for say a three bedroom house. A 20 megawatt hour mega block, which is a 20,000 kilowatt hour complete capacity, that can charge 1,000 homes for one day at the same usage. So 10 of these mega blocks can power 
10,000 homes. Now it's worth pointing out that real world deliverable energy is a bit less due to battery reserves and losses. Assume about a 95% round trip efficiency. But anyway, you get the point. Now these mega blocks, mega packs, they don't actually use Tesla batteries. They don't use 4680 battery cells because well, Tesla can't make enough of them and they're more expensive to manufacture. They use lithium ion phosphate batteries from CATL and also from BYD. And that's actually a good thing. That enables Tesla to bring the cost down. It also enables Tesla to have lithium ion phosphate batteries that will last a bit longer than ternary batteries or NMC batteries. The cost is actually the biggest factor though. I mean, obviously Tesla's buying enormous amounts of battery cells, and so that brings down the price for them. But here's the thing. The battery cells are not really the big deal here. The battery cells, I mean, to be honest, you can buy them yourself if you want, straight from companies and build your own batteries, but it's a little bit more complex when it comes to this kind of scale and when it comes to integrating into a grid. And that's what Tesla is very, very good with. Combine these mega blocks with Tesla's auto bidder system and Tesla's integration software and all the other magic stuff that they do, you've got essentially a way to a way to take a grid that's having blackouts and having problems and solve those problems. That's what Tesla can do. Plus, auto bidder can make you money. It can make it can make energy providers quite a bit of money if you're an energy provider in a grid in a in a network and you're competing with your rivals. You can use that software to make money. Tesla, in fact, uses it themselves to make money using their mega packs themselves. So Tesla has. At many of their supercharger locations, they actually have mega packs built in to the ground or even just sitting on site. And what they do is they use auto bit of software to purchase electricity from the grid when it's the cheapest, the lowest possible point. And then they resell it to people at a huge margin. They're still, to be fair, they're still the cheapest. Tesla superchargers are still the cheapest way to get electricity into your EV by far the cheapest, in fact, in most countries, but they sell it at a huge markup to people at their superchargers. So imagine having a gas station where you could get the gasoline for about 95% less than what you resell it for. It's never existed. That's a, a, cr a crazy good business model. And that's what Tesla does. In fact, Tesla even operates as its own electricity supplier supply in the UK and to, a, to an extent in other countries as well. Tesla also claims there is a higher energy density at the site. They say you can get 248 megawatt hours now per acre, which is quite a bit better than what you could get previously. And of course, this does matter because not everywhere is capable of having, you know, massive amounts of batteries and huge amounts of space. Sometimes space is limited. Snyder said that Tesla plans to build Megapack 3 in Houston starting in late 2026 and also in China at their mega factory there as well. That factory will have a capacity of 50 gigawatt hours per year. So this is a big deal for Tesla. I know this, this news will probably be irrelevant to most people, won't mean much to them, but if you're a Tesla shareholder, or if you're someone who cares about the world going green and actually using all our wasted solar, uh, transfer, transforming the grid from fossil fuels to renewable energy, this is actually 